What about the hidden work by Maxwell using quaternions? One of the persistent drivers of traffic to my website is this rumor that Maxwell originally, in the first edition, wrote all of his equa equations using quaternions, some 200 or more equations, and that by the time it got around to the third edition, Heaviside had edited it so much that there were no more quaternions. Well, you can go out and buy the Maxwell's treatise uh, uh, on electromagnetism, the third edition, the edited one, but not the first one. Fortunately, somebody posted it. So I went ahead and I looked at it, and they had lots and lots of different chapters. Two of them had quaternions in the title. So I read that very carefully, and when I looked at it, it looks like he was using quaternions as quote-unquote pure quaternions, where you mandate that the scalar term is zero, and that all you have is, is a three vector. And if that's what he's doing, then you can achieve absolutely nothing new. There's no hidden secrets going on here if you're using just pure quaternions versus doing everything in terms of, of, of standard vectors. So my analysis was that nothing could have been achieved <laughs> that was different in edition one versus edition three. And what was kind of nice was that I found somebody else who had actually done a much more thorough analysis. I mean, it's hard to, to, to wrap your head around Maxwell's actual treatise because he was using German units, so everything uses the wrong letter. <laughs> uses the letter that was in vogue in Germany uh, in the day, um, not the English uh, units that went out eventually. But there was this guy, uh, what was his name? Um, Andrew Wasser. And, and he actually confirmed this observation I had, that as great as the treatise is, and it really is, is, is a brilliant work, the quaternion part really didn't bring anything new. Now, I should say that I have come up with a way of deriving the Maxwell action, the Lagrangian, using quaternions, that I haven't seen written anywhere. And I think that's totally cool. But that's something that you'd only get from watching my videos, uh, not by going and, and finding edition one and, and of, of Maxwell's treatise and studying that. So I don't believe the rumor out there uh, is, is worth much work on anybody's part. Uh, I really don't think Maxwell contributed to some secret body of knowledge uh, that you can no longer get access to. So that's my assessment of it. Thank you.